What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Crispy On. Um, I don't even know where to begin, and I'm gonna try not to bore you guys so much with the story, but this goes back to high school, to uh, my freshman year in high school in 2001. Uh, a close friend of mine, his father happened to buy this vehicle, and when I saw it and heard the engine, I fell in love with it. And the vehicle that I'm talking about, it's a 2001 Excursion. Now, a lot of you guys know that Ford came out with the Excursion from 2001 I might be wrong from 2000 to 2005 or 2001 to 2005 i can't remember um so correct me if i'm wrong anyways so they came out with this vehicle they came out with a gas vehicle and it was a v10 and in my opinion to be honest with y'all it was a sucky engine it wasn't that great um but they did come out with the 7.3 diesel which we all know it's a million mile um engine you know meaning it can go on forever um and i've been looking for one uh man for so many years and i remember i told myself when i was young and i made myself a promise i said the day that you can afford one you're getting one i've been looking one for the past couple of years and they they've been up there and some weren't diesel they were gas i don't want a gas i wanted a diesel so I was uh, I was home in Brownsville, in my hometown, not long ago, and I just happened to get on Facebook Market because my dad and I were looking for an older truck, probably like a 40s or 30s, somewhere in there that we want to restore together, and I came across a 2001 excursion with a 7.3 diesel that was for sale. I messaged the guy, and I never heard back from him until I was back home uh, up here, and he hit me up and he's like, yeah, I have it. So I called my dad, I was like, dad, what are you doing? What are you doing right now, father? What are you doing? And he was like, I'm at home, son, it's my day off. And I was like, please do me the biggest favor of my life and I will owe you forever. I said, please go check out this vehicle. And my dad's a mechanic, so he knows a lot about vehicles. So I was like, dad, please tell me that this vehicle is worth uh, what I'm about to pay for it. And my dad called me back and he goes, you need to get that truck, that truck runs great. So I sent him the money, he bought it and it's been down there for like two weeks and I've been dying to get it up here and uh, be because it's my dream truck. I'm not gonna lie, I've been wanting one of these for so long. Anyways, my brother is driving up right now with it and I am excited. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to show it to you guys and show you all the amazing things that we're gonna do. So it'll be a sneak peek. It's not gonna be super detailed. I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of the inside, the engine, turn it on, all that good stuff. And then it's gonna get overhauled. And that's where it's gonna be amazing. So we're gonna do a, a couple part series on this so you guys can uh, be on this journey with me and watch me transform this vehicle. That is my dream vehicle. So. Let's wait till he gets here. Once he gets here, we will meet him and just go over the truck. And I'm excited, I can't wait. So thanks for tuning in. Guys, do me a favor, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let's get it. Woo, I can't wait, I'm so excited. All right, boys, so here it is. I'm gonna start in the back. And uh, all right, so before we even start, before I even open anything, I have no idea what's wrong and what's not wrong with this truck. Like I mentioned before, my brother literally drove it from Brownsville, Texas, all the way up here, and I haven't even inspected it. It was just something that I couldn't pass up, and, uh, and now it's here, so let's look through it and see what's wrong with it. All right, guys, so this is one of my favorite things about the excursion, is the fact that you can open these doors up like this. The, the fact that the, the, the fact, um, like I mentioned earlier, <laughs> we uh, I haven't inspected the truck, and obviously there's something going on here because it's not opening, but we're gonna get that figured out. We're gonna get it figured out. But again, this is one of my favorite things is how these open up. And what I have envisioned is we're gonna add um, the spare tire back here. Sorry about the cars, guys. There's, um, there's a kit that we're gonna mount here and it's gonna swing either way and we're gonna be able to put the uh, spare tire in the back. But that, uh, 
that's I really love this and we're gonna get that fixed because that's bothering me now and we're gonna get that fixed because someone hit it really good right there um, this bumper is gonna be gone let's keep inspecting it let's see what else we got here please open please open oh it opened all right so what's pretty cool about these trucks is this is probably the biggest SUV ever made. Um, it's bigger than a, a, a Suburban, uh, any other any other SUV. And it's got a third row seat. And you guys saw in the back, it's very, very spacious. And uh, look how that slides forward. That's pretty freaking cool. As you guys saw, that is freaking spacious. So now, I'm gonna open up the engine and we're gonna do a cold start and see how it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 7.3 diesel. This is a million mile engine. They don't make an engine like this anymore. Uh, so let's fire her up and see how she does. So keep your fingers crossed, hopefully it starts. Uh, so let me get her going. All right, here we go, here we go. Come on, baby, come on. Hear that engine knocking? That is the 7.3 diesel. Oh my God. Woo. Listen, let me step on the gas a little bit. All right guys, so you guys saw it turned on, it's doing great. This truck is gonna go over to PSC in Houston. My buddy Dorian's gonna, oh man, we are gonna make this engine bulletproof. We're gonna change a lot of parts as you guys can see, they're worn and used. And you know, they, it's been, what, 20, 23, 24 years since this vehicle has been around. So we're gonna change a bunch of different things on it and make sure that it's bulletproof and it runs 100% and nothing's gonna stop it. But with that being said, we are gonna get bigger tires on this. We're gonna do a bumper. We're gonna do uh, a bigger, uh, uh, I'm losing my mind right here because I have so many things that we're gonna do to this. Um, we're gonna put a bigger turbo. We're gonna make this thing fast. It's gonna be a beast on the road. But as you can see, like it's again, it's 20 some years old and the sun's done a lot to it. So we really don't know what color we're gonna go with it yet. I'm thinking like a tan, all tan and black or a multi-cam, like a black multi-cam or maybe like a satin flat black. I don't really know what I wanna do yet, but those are the ideas. We're also gonna do the interior. We're gonna replace the carpet, obviously. Um, there's a bunch of latches and things that we need to change on it because it's, it is pretty rusted and it is pretty worn out. But here, I'll give you guys a quick tour around this so you guys can see. And I'm gonna point out what needs to be changed. Like, like I said, look, that's pretty worn and torn like that. It's got a little bit of rust in it, not a lot. I mean, as you guys can see here, there's a little bit, but that's all, you can fix that. Any great guy that paints is gonna be able to fix that. So I'm not worried about that. Um, you know, little bumps, 
and scratches here and there. We are gonna get rid of these running boards. These are a thing of the past. Like I said, we're gonna put some 20s and 35s on this. It's gonna lift it up, leveling kit. And I'm gonna put some amp running boards on this so it looks a lot cleaner. Um, for the most, and then obviously we're gonna get it and get it tinted. My buddies over at uh, Zintix Tint are gonna take care of this whole thing. And then um, towards the end, we are gonna redo the whole interior. I don't know what we're gonna go with just yet because I don't know what color scheme I'm gonna go with. But once I find out, we are definitely gonna redo these because they're they're pretty cracked and worn and you know, all that foam is gone, so it's not comfortable anymore. But we're gonna redo all that as well. And we're gonna make sure that this back door works again. And you, know, you can see guys, this is, you know, just wear and tear. We're gonna take that off, do everything. But that is it. That is the sneak preview that you get right now from this vehicle, 2001 Excursion. I've always wanted one of these and I'm super pumped to just rehaul the whole thing and just turn it, bring it back to life and make it look good on the road. So with that being said, the next video, I'll keep you guys updated when it makes it to PSC. We do all we got to do in the engine and then we start working on the cosmetic stuff. So thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Until then, crispy on.